This is Natalie from Nine Dot Arrow from the Netherlands, and I'm here to work a little bit with the Books and Botanicals kit. Um, yeah, to make something. Um, I did create uh, two um, book page pieces uh, for the first week challenge, um, and that is creating a talk spot pocket with a tag and a journal card. So I have two different ones. Uh, I have videos on both and I have a third one, but I still have to upload that one. But I thought, well, maybe it's nice to actually work with the kit and create something with it. And I was doubting if I was going to make a journal or a um, something like an envelope folio thing. And then I came across this uh, I believe it was like this. This is a package, well, like this, from Amazon. And I thought, well, if I cut it in half, I have uh, this. Um, yeah, this. So I thought, that is nice. Um, I can make a flip here. Um, or... That's also from something I thought about. Uh, I can also, let me think, if I do it like this, and it opens like, no, this is not the right way. If I do it like this, and it opens like so, you can have like embellishment pieces and pockets over here. And in here, you have a small journal, like a signature. So I thought maybe that's cool too. But you can still, do that and add the signature over here. I thought it was nice to have a folio like so, or like so, or like so. Okay, what am I going to do? I have to decide what is, I think this is more, maybe it can go like so, put the journal under here. Although this is this is kind of ripped, um, maybe I need to take the other one. Maybe this is better. Or if we. Put this piece. I take this off. Yeah. I'm just going to rip this off. And if I take this piece and I glue it on here. So it's in the middle. And then you have. Oh, I can do another thing. Yeah, that's cool. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip this one off too. Okay. Kind of worked. And I want to glue this one on here. The other one on here. Like so. But I'm going to make this shorter. So first, start with that. <laughs> I don't think you um, understand what I'm going to do, but let's let's give it a go, and we, you will see what I mean in a minute. Um, keeping it at ten and a half inch. Yeah, that makes 
seconds. Um, so I am going to alter this. Um, Don't like this, I'm going to cut off a piece on here. Yes, okay. I'm going to try to explain. I want it like so. Um, Do we? Um, maybe like so. Well, this can be, yeah. this to go on here I'm also thinking if I glue it like so no this is better because this works okay there's a little helper on the desk I have to cut this straight Tiny bit off. Okay. I'm going to try explain again. No, little guy. You're not so little anymore. You're just a huge tiger Ooh, on my desk. And I can't crop when you on it. So please, please, please leave. <laughs> okay, I need to make these smaller. Otherwise, it will not fit in between. to try and explain I want this over here and now I'm just going to use um, like some paper clips to hold it on place and this one Almost exactly the same uh, spot. So that's a good start. Um, so these can go sort of like so, and we can put a little journal in here. It's going to be a rather small journal. Okay, if I take this like so, can I make it a little bit bigger? Let me just check. I do believe it 
gives it a little bit more space to make it slightly bigger. Okay, this is going to, we're going to bend this according to the journal. I'm not sure where the journal will be. But the journal is going to be in between here. Um, I think I will make the binding over here. Yeah. Something like that. And this can go like so. And this can go over. But this has to be adjustable. So. Because when this is more bulky. We can do like this. Or when it's flat, we can do like this. Okay, getting somewhere now. Um, I think it's just a matter of decorating now. So yeah, I'm going to decorate. Um, let's first start with this. What do I want to put over there? Um, maybe a piece from the freebies will fit. Yeah. I want this piece. Yeah. No, go away. Oh, there's the other helper. Also wants to check what I'm doing. And they are so sweet. But they are huge. They are bigger than um, my Mr. Supervisor was. And he was an adult um, boy. And they are so big. These are Maine Coons. So they become huge. Very big. Sorry. I want to take it a little bit higher so the books oh, I can't I can't save the books I wanted to save the books but uh, and I'm going to fold this the other way no go away please do Please leave. Okay, I'm going to, to take this out. Okay, now go. What are you doing? No, no. Okay, I have to stop the camera. Okay, he squeezed himself behind the printer. It's very narrow, but he definitely wants to be there. He didn't take no for an answer. <laughs> so, yeah, he's there now. Okay, that's, that's okay. Um, also want to add a few book pages on it. I'm just going to collage on here. And make it pretty. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can.
I'll give you a little bit more room. Just, but this is not ideal, Mister. You are ruining my table by doing this, Mister Stevie. <laughs> I can't uh, point the camera at him because it's in a weird angle, but he's sitting on a very weird spot. I have no idea why. Um, didn't think about that. Take these off. Maybe glue it over here. Oh, here you are. I guess he didn't like it over there. And I'm just going to put pieces that I have floating on my desk, larger pieces, whatever I can and get, I'm going to use that. I'm also not going to bother to ink. So, I think I might have to take the camera up a little because I'm afraid you can't see. Okay, I hope this is better. Just a little. And we have, yeah, we have more from the kit over here. So I'm just collaging over here. Um, nothing special, really. It's actually sort of a mess. to work because I ripped it okay <laughs> please I can't I really have to send you away So difficult to craft when you are on my desk. Hmm. 
maybe like so. Add some pages over here. Let's see what else I have. I have this. Okay, now comes the other one. Pretty sure it wants to be on the desk too. So pretty sure it's not going to fit. These are too small. What are you doing? Okay, there's number two. Okay, I have to put them away because this is not going to work. <laughs> so sorry. Um, So the only piece I still need to cover is the front piece. And I have to make sure glue is everywhere. So, okay, let me check what we got now. I want this to go like so. Okay. I need to do this a little. I'm still debating if I'm going to go over it with um, sort of Mod Podge or not. I don't know yet. Usually I do that when I have a book cover like this. So I have like a collaged book cover with book page pieces. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So, um, maybe I should concentrate on putting on the panels. And also concentrate on making it straight. Because it's not straight. Um, I think I had it like this. Yeah. So this is the front, this is the inside. I do need to. Okay, I, I am going to decorate this too. Then it's finished. I think that's the best way to, to go. Um, 
I have some misprints over here from the same kits and I'm going to put these on. Okay, I have covered everything. Um, but not, it's not straight over here, so I have to cut it. Yeah, I think it's okay. And if I have little pieces that I need to cut off or glue on extra, uh, like, like I do now, I can always do that. Um, now I have to think about the panels. Because obviously, okay, the outside is like so. And this needs to be glued in properly. Not going to work. So this is going to be the inside. Also have some issues over here and I see on the outside there's only the um, like sepia so we can add a little color on there in a later stage when decorating um, okay, this this is a problem, so I'm going to take it off. No, I'm not going to take it off. I'm going to glue it with my Fabri-Tac. And I can always add like washi.
to take forever check over here too. I believe so. Because it's keep, it keeps coming off all the time. Um, the panels, yeah. So this, I'm not sure if everything is in here. So I took you up even higher now. Um, I'm also debating whether I'm going to stitch, do some extra stitching over here, like, like it's, um, oh, how do you call that? I don't know. Stitching everywhere. I'm not sure how it's called. I can't figure out the name. Um, when you add all the squares together. Quilting. Something like that. Um, the panels. Yeah, I'm going to do the panels now. And if I have more to glue on, I will do that off camera. Because I don't think we are going to uh, fill everything today. This is just the base. First, let me think how I'm going to put them on. on like so I can also put them on like so are these going to be like little doors no like so and then they are going to be over here or do I put them on like so Also, how do I attach the, the journal? Yeah, I can put an eyelet in here and an elastic, well, somewhere over here, and then can lay in here, I think. But I'm going to make the closure or the, sorry, the binding for the journal when the journal thingy is ready. Otherwise, I don't know how long or so. Um, we can decorate this. On the outside, I think I'm going to put washi and then secure it with little eyelets. On the inside, um, I'm going to leave it like this. And the outside, maybe I'm just going to put a little bit of decoration on. Because otherwise you can't do the, the bending. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's a good plan. To ink. Also thinking maybe I can add some stamps over here. Do some stamping. I'm not sure what you can see, so I'm inking this part too.
let me just okay. again this is I have to admit this is thicker paper the paper that is on here I think if I use the regular paper it will not give me that much trouble um, so I guess we can put these on Um, okay, but I do want to sew around this. So first I'm going to sew around the borders. I'm also going to sew over here, but I'm also going to ink uh, all the pieces. But I'm going to do the inking off camera and the sewing off camera. And when I did everything, you will see me back. So I have stitched. I have stitched um, all around the border stitched over here and also stitched over here as you can see here and here i glued on the panels um also stitched around the panels and i'm also going to stitch over the panels uh, when when they are when they are a little bit more dry um and then i'm also going to add like eyelets in it to give it a little bit more um it's looking prettier but i also thinking um i can um i'm going to create something that you can slide something in using the eyelets um but i'm not going to do that now but in a later stage um and then we can decorate the front and i have to make a closure like so this is uh, uh I, I don't like that that I did it but I had to bend it in order to sew over here I had to do this to get it under my sewing machine so I am um, hoping that I will be able to give it a little bit more um, strength by adding something to it in a later stage um, so yeah, I really like this uh, I can also add a pocket on here or not maybe it's maybe embellishments over here i can add a pocket here i think yeah maybe over here so that gives me opportunity to make this more sturdy um, but let me think about how i can make the journal because i haven't really thought about that it's a nice idea, but I'm not sure if it's going to work uh, in real life. Um, because the pages are slightly bigger than the journal is going to be. So, yeah. Because when I fold it in half, or almost in half, maybe like so. So I have to cut this off. Also, okay, this can work, but I do need, do need to take off uh, yeah, I do need to take off a, a, a bit from the bottom or from the top, depending on how the image is. Um, I'm still thinking uh, if I just going to print something at the back or am I going to glue these together? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to glue them together. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to work on this. I'm going to take off all the clamps, the paper clips and do the rest of the sewing and maybe put in the eyelets so i have sewn on the flappy thingies and now i'm going to uh, add a few eyelets in here and i'm using the big bite Just need to see 
How am I going to do that? Can I do it like so? Yes, I can. So I have them all at the same um, spot. Going to put one almost at the end, and eyeballing to get one in the middle. I'm also going to put a mark on the other side where it's almost. Uh, where it is almost not the exact spot because well, I don't know just eyeballing it oh I need to put one more Other side. I think I did a great job eyeballing it. So, as they are. Sorry, I dropped it. It's not completely on the same spot, but yeah, almost good enough for me. I'm going to put the eyelets in from the outside to the inside. Um, Oh, it's stuck again. I need to push this one a little bit more. I'm going to... Oh, this is the wrong one. Not the right. This one needs to be in. I 
think I need to push them all a little bit more, but I'm going to do the rest off camera. I put all the eyelets in. Um, they're almost straight. Not really, but I don't mind. So, yeah, I really like it. And, yeah, and I want to create something over here. Um, that you can slide things in. And I also want to try and put this one in and this one in. Although I have no idea where to put it. Because it's very bulky. Uh, yeah. We will see. This one I can put somewhere, like over here maybe. This one can go over here, but it goes like so. And I thought about this one putting it here. And letting... Okay, that, that can work. So, although this is not... Hmm, Equally divided. Not so sure I'm saying it right. So if I put this one on the inside, this one on the outside. And you have this over here. But this is less less wonky. Well, okay, I will. I just been uh, switching it around, but I will see what I'm going to do with it. And maybe I can't put everything in. Uh, that's okay too. Um, Maybe I can put it on like an add-on thingy to go with the journal. Because, yeah. But I do like them. And it would be fun if you had one on front. But that's an option too. One over here. And one on front. Yeah. That's cool. Because this one, okay, we can glue this one down. And you can even put something over here. And this one, you can also put something from the other side. So maybe that's an option. Yeah, because this one is less bulky. So maybe next time when I'm starting a new video, this is on. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, uh, I hope you liked the video. Maybe you want to give it a try. Use some packaging and try to make a folio. And you don't, don't have to use the whole folio thing it came in. You can cut it to any size you want and you can rip up the pieces like I did. And you can even add two pieces on one side, like I did, uh, and make something different. Yeah, so, um, yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment, visit the Facebook group, visit my Ko-fi page. You can buy me a coffee that will really helps building my shop. And there are a lot of freebies um, and also a lot of fun kits over there. Um, yeah, and... Make sure you join the challenges in the Facebook group and be entered in a giveaway at the end of the month. So this is it. Stay safe, stay creative. Thank you for watching. Greetings from the Netherlands and I hope to see you the next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.